Hello. Do you want to play a game? Happy Fragrant Friday, Fraghead. Hey everybody, this has been here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with a new Indeed review. You know, we are taking a look at Sawtooth, Sawtooth. So of course I had to offer up a gambit in honor of the fantastic film Saw. So for those of you out there who say you don't like it, you're a liar. Uh, uh, it's a wonderful mi movie. Uh, it's just it's kind of like the Aqua de Joe folks who say they don't like it, but they secretly do. Uh, when it comes to the horror film Saw, uh, you secretly do like it. It's a brilliant film. Uh, absolutely love that series. In fact, what I like about the series, uh, for the horror fans out there, uh, what I like about the series is that they really never made a bad Saw out of all of them. What is it, like seven or eight, I think. So I wanted to start off with that in homage uh, to a wonderful film but that is for the horror movie fans out there uh, if you're not a horror movie fan of course i and have not seen the film then i would not recommend it of course so this is sawtooth and i am continuing my uh exploration of duke cannon supply company and so this is my my third week uh taking a look at uh, these this is a travel set of three and this is the end of the road for duke cannon supply company i have thoroughly enjoyed uh, reviewing these i've got one more review coming up uh, next week uh, and then after that, I'm going to take a, a break on the single reviews, um, fragrance reviews, and I'm going to go into some top 10, some different things that I want to explore. Before I jump into the review, let me very, very quickly say, yet again, since last Friday, we have had just an absolute barrage of new subscribers. Uh, I've gone viral. And, and I, as I've said before, I'm pretty much, I think I've whittled it down to the fact that I am the doppelganger to Jeremy Fragrance, and I know you agree. Uh, so many people have said that. They've gone on record. They put it in the comments. Um, and all 77 people that will view this episode concur. So uh, I appreciate you checking out my channel. Thanks for subscribing. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and when I say comment is if you don't have too much to say about this, always leave your scent of the day. I truly, truly appreciate that one. Let's get down to the review, shall we? This, of course, is uh, Sawtooth. Uh, and I wanted to read the description real quick again. Uh, and it says, and by the way, the profile is not aquatic. Uh, this one is woodsy. Okay, and if you've noticed in the past, some of you have uh, hit the giggle button because some, sometimes they call these woodies and sometimes they say woodsy, right? A woody or woodsy. Now, they avoid the word woody here probably because of the obvious, which is Toy Story. But um, here they do say woodsy uh, and they say this, smells like exploring crisp mountain air, not an overly air-conditioned motel room in Scottsdale. You see what I mean? It's, it's, it's offensive to my sensibilities. Scottsdale. What's wrong with Scottsdale, Arizona, right? Other than the Arizona Coyotes. I think they're there. But, um, you know, I mean, 1,800 people attend that game. All right. So let's not. Uh, here's the thing about this one. They, they list aromatic, cedar, and amber. The cedar, the cedar is prominent in this one. Absolutely. And when I first wore this, I'm not saying it's, this is not a clone of what I'm going to say, but it reminds me of uh, Halston Man Amber. That is a great cheapie. That is a phenomenal uh, cheapie. And I'll be talking about that a little bit more in detail later. But we've got aromatic cedar, amber. Cedar dominates. And then the amber kind of saves the day here. Uh, the, the amber comes in just right when this thing is starting to veer a little too... To, um, what do I want to say? Maybe on the inexpensive side as far as the smell. Uh, too much. My Cedar can be off-putting. If, it, if it's a very rich cedar mixed well and blended well with other notes, I think it's very attractive. It's a wonderful note. That said, it can also really veer left into uh, cheapy land. And so uh, the, the, the cedar here is quite prominent in the beginning, but then the amber really comes up in the base notes. And I really appreciate that about this fragrance. So much so, in fact, that this little guy here got me. And I'm on vacay, so that means I'm not out seeing a ton of people. And yet I still got two unsolicited 
compliments. And so that will have to factor into the rating uh, of this uh, fragrance because that's that's quite impressive, actually. Um, so this is Sawtooth, uh, and this, of course, is... Uh, getting away from the aquatics, right? So I've taken a look at Seneca, I've taken a look at Huron, and now we've got uh, Sawtooth. So so again, obviously it's a woodsy, so we're, we're going to tap into the cedar. Um, but overall, this one is quite good. And I think the marketing to me is clear here. Uh, as I said last week, this one, Seneca, the first one is, is, is more of when I think of this one, I think of middle schoolers. I think of eighth grade formal. I think of getting braces on or off, uh, giggling video games, uh, Doritos, Fritos, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the Huron to me is more of a college, uh, I mean, excuse me, high school up until college, up until even our, your first paid internship. So we're looking at about 24, 20, we'll say 23 to 24, something like that. And then and this guy really here is the 25 and up. All right, so this is for the the manly man, right? Uh, so this is really geared towards, um, you know, you've spent the whole weekend in your F-150. Now it's time to kick back and have a monster burger and a case of bush light, you know, something like that, right? It's it's it's, it's more of the, the manly man approach, uh, where these are a little bit more of the just smelling good. Okay, so let's talk about longevity projection and sillage. When it comes to longevity, I did, we're going to have to break out the inner Eeyore, um, because I did get uh, bad news when it came to projection and, and longevity. This one kind of looks like uh, Seneca. These, these are Eau de Parfum. These are 10 milliliter. That's a lot. Um, and they're EDPs, right? They're eau de parfum, so they really should perform better. Uh, but this one also did not really do so hot for me. Uh, this one is another two to four hour uh, fragrance, um, which doesn't really cut the mustard. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to go to an event that uh, is like an eighth grade formal, uh, no. If you're going to go to an event uh, that is not lasting too long, I think this would be a great uh, thing. I just want you to know that it's not going to get you, definitely not a work shift. So, or if you want it to last longer, definitely a lot on your clothes. You're going to spray a lot uh, of this one. So I got two to four hours, unfortunately. It projects relatively well for the first hour. Um, the time I got two compliments would be both were in the first hour. Uh, and... That's what you're looking at. Um, I was a little disappointed. Siage coming in out of rooms again would be something that you probably wouldn't get too much attention uh, after the second hour. So what do I suggest? Number one, I really, really like the act the actual fragrance itself. It smells very nice. Um, it does have a, a rugged masculine quality to it, and the cedar, as I said, is 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 good. It's not too much, um, and. When cedar flies solo uh, is when things can go awry, uh, and it does not. So it mixes very well with the amber, and it's a nice fragrance. So what I would recommend, I'll tell, I'll tell my rating in a minute, but what I would say is whether or not I would have this in my collection, okay, suspense, I would probably go toward, for the, for the money, Halston Man Amber. Because it is a cheapie already, you can get a full bottle of it, and I think it's I think it smells really really nice. I like the amber in that one. Um, it's a very nice fragrance, and again, it's it's on the cheap. So if you wanted to stay away from this one because of the longevity, then check out something like Halston Man Amber. Wonderful choice. Now, if you if you are into the marketing though for this company, meaning that you do like the fact that a portion of the proceeds go to U.S. veterans and or the fact they do not test on animals, then you absolutely uh, should consider this one instead. So that is one. Cause I can't speak to Halston. I don't, I don't think they have the same, but you know, I, I don't know. But my point is, is if you like the fact that they don't test on animals and uh, they even, and they also, I, I don't think they have animal products, never tested on animals, just bad interns. Okay. Simple plant derived and cruelty free formula. So that's very nice. Um, I like that about this company. So that would be one thing in this favor. Um, just wish I would have gotten a little bit better longevity and projection. So when it comes to the um, event, I actually think this one would be highly, highly versatile. Um, I, I think that because the cedar and the uh, uh, amber work well together, I think this would be a great choice anywhere. And especially because obviously it's going to be with cedar, you're going to think of fall and winter, but you could wear this in the spring and summer because it isn't cloying ever. Um, so 
again, I think uh, it's kind of a uh, an advantage. This would be definitely something for the um, I just want to smell nice and wear the same thing all year uh, Father's Day kind of crowd. Uh, this would definitely work uh, well uh, as the one bottle, uh, you know, a year uh, type um, because again, uh, no, one, I, I can't see anyone disliking this fragrance. I also like the fact that if you're around a lot of people who do not like fragrance and pick it up, um, then they would this wouldn't be the case, right? It's not going to clear out a room. Uh, it's not beast mode. And so uh, you would never have an issue uh, with that either. So that's quite good. It's, it is definitely a versatile uh, fragrance. When it comes to uh, gender, let's go with, I'm going to say, yeah, I mean, the marketing again is like, you know, big ass bar of soap, you know, Ford F-150 Dodge Ram. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and say, again, about a 90-10 uh, split. There is some amber in there. It's quite nice. Uh, but I think 90% of the people who own this, wear this, wanted it, it's their signature scent will be men and 10% will be women. And I've already gone over age. Uh, definitely very, very clear to me. This is, you know, this is like a, a, a starter. This is like 11 to uh, 13. We're going to go 14 to 24 on Huron. And then we're just going to go 25 and up when it comes to sawtooth. Uh, and of course, I have to consider the fact that uh, it has saw in it, uh, which is a great film. So, so that is uh, this fragrance. And I have decided, I have to tell you, usually my ratings are quite easy. I, usually within the first day to two, even up to three, I kind of know out of five sprays which one I'm going to go and why. This one was tough for me, though. I, I do admit that um, the longevity was disappointing initially uh, let me just say too it's also a linear scent how, how it smells in the beginning is how it's going to smell throughout i do like that about it uh, it doesn't really develop but it already smells good so that's that's a plus um and i would say the longevity was a turnoff so i, I was more looking at something almost like a two um, but the fact that i did get two uh, unsolicited compliments i have to take into consideration and that's going to bump it up uh, uh, quite a bit um and then, so here's what I decided. That was kind of like a four, right? And I, I like the fact that I don't think it's really a clone of anything, not to my knowledge. I don't, I don't know that it, it's a dupe or a clone or a copy of another famous fragrance. Perhaps it is. So then I was thinking on some days almost like a four. So I'm going to split the difference and I'm going to go three. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to take off one spray definitely for the long, longevity projection and sillage um, because this is something you would need to put on your skin and you would put on, on, uh, on your clothes and also on your uh, you know thick beard and hair, uh, right? So this would be something you would need a lot of help with to get you through uh, a work shift. And uh, if you've worn this and feel differently, by the way, let us know. And then the second thing I'm going to dock another spray for, I don't know if you can see it, but when you spray this one, uh, can you see that? There, there it is. There it is. Yeah. When you spray this, uh, some of the fragrance oozes out of the atomizer. So here, right here, when you spray it, it'll, it'll ooze out and kind of drip. And so that's a little cheap and uh, that was a little unfortunate. So I'm going to dock a spray uh, for that. But that's all I can come up with, guys. Uh, everything else, I mean, it's inexpensive. A portion of the proceeds go to U.S. veterans. Uh, they don't test on animals. It's manly. It's rugged. You're going to want to get in your F-150. All right, I need to stop doing that. Um, it is fun uh, to do that. Right? But, but it is um, uh, a manly man, uh, rugged, clearly masculine uh, fragrance. So it's right in line with their marketing. Uh, I really enjoyed wearing this one. In fact, um, it's par partially because the longevity is not so great, but I actually seared through this guy, uh, and I have just enough to get me through maybe this episode and then maybe one more day. So that, again, speaks for itself. Hard review for me because I kind of felt, you know, in, 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 a, in a grumpy negative mood at first, uh, but then then it just, good news just kept on a coming. So this is kind of a, a come from behind victory, actually, for this fragrance. I really like it. If you're on the fence, if you can pull off, you know, another cheapie, you're looking at like 15 probably $20 bill would get it sent to your house. Uh, check out something like Halston Man Amber. Love, love that fragrance uh, on the cheap. So I'm going to go three out of five for this woodsy fragrance uh, by Duke Cannon Supply Company. Boom. Boom. And I'll go one. Boom. 
And wow, I, I am just about out. So uh, speaking for itself, three out of five for Sawtooth. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, and, and stick around for the bonus feature because I'm going to give my rating finally, uh, my, my ranking actually of the three fragrances in this travel pack. I really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for everything. And always remember, Fragrance Marks, the celebration of today. Take care, everybody. Okay, so welcome to the bonus feature. I really want to thank all eight of you for making it this far. As you know, this is, of course, Aunt Mary Joan Appreciation Month. Uh, she sent me this, and I and I have thoroughly enjoyed rating and ranking and reviewing all three. That said, it was just a coincidence that all three got three out of five sprays. Uh, they got the same uh, rating uh, in my episodes, and so I wanted to take a moment and 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 give out the medals uh, for proper cologne travel ration. When it comes to, they all got three out of five, and as you know, in my five spray rating system, the ones and twos, no thanks. Fours and fives I generally seek and go after. I also have an elusive six bonus spray from TCG, and I've only given out two of them in five years. So that is exclusive and elusive. Uh, and then, of course, I have the threes, which are some I would keep, some I, some I just don't. Um, it's kind of a middle ground um, gray area. And these actually got all three out of five uh, sprays for me. And I would say this. Seneca, the first one that I rated, I gave a three. And I, what I'd say is I don't think it would make the cut for me, but that's just because I have a lot of – I like the freshies. Remember, this is the, the homage to the freshies. So I really like the fact that – I mean – I like freshies and I have a ton of them anyway, and so I don't know that I would add this to my collection because of that, but I think it would be a wonderful choice uh, for someone just starting out um, middle school, early high school uh, into fragrance. It would be a one. It, it smells great. It's just that I have a lot like it. So um, that is my honorable mention. My bronze medal goes out to Sawtooth. The bronze medal goes to Sawtooth, uh, and as I said, I, this one this one was a come from behind feel. Uh, it almost didn't garner a medal, but you know what? The compliments rolled in, and uh, it does smell very nice. I like the amber and the cedar, as I've said. So this one gets the bronze medal here at that cologne guy, and then the silver medal goes to. Huron. Uh, this is one that I would definitely add to my collection. I really like this one. I will look out for um, shower gels, things like that, if they have any other products besides uh, cologne, but I really do like this one a lot. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to wearing it this weekend, and it's just, um, it's just a wonderful fragrance. Uh, the clear winner of the three. So that's my silver medal, and of course, of course, the gold medal has to go to Aunt Mary Joan, you guessed it. So, so you know what? Uh, through through tough times and through good times, uh, she has always had a beaming smile uh, on her face, and so I really appreciate uh, her, and I appreciate that she sent this in uh, to me. So, we bid adieu to Duke Cannon Supply Company. Uh, and next week, I'm going to do one more review, single fragrance review. And then, as I said, after that, we're going we're gonna, to uh, go out into some, some themes and topics and top tens. We just want to shake things up, as they say. I hope you have a great week. Take care, and I'll see you next Friday.